Alright guys, I'm finally back out here working. Um, I had to do a bunch of running and I had to go get more welding gas. Um, I got some all thread for uh, for the latches. I got some chipping hammers to cut up to make the latches. Um, I got gauges. I got these at Home Depot. Um, so I'm hoping to get the latches on these doors, get the the gauges on them, get the gasket wrapped around them. I wanted to get the latches on so that I could put the gasket on and then latch the door and hopefully that would seat it. So. Alright, this is what I came up with for my handles. Uh, I just used some old thread and I doubled up the back side. I think you can see it. Uh, I cut some quarter inch. I gotta clean that up with the grinder. I just kinda cut it to fit. And, um, you know, I got a bunch of cleanup before I paint and finalize stuff, but they work pretty good. They're, they're nice and sturdy, so I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with those. I just all right, I uh, I got the two gauges on the uh, the doors here. I got the handle put on that top door. I got the handle put on the front. I really need a camera person. Um, you know, it, it's hard to video and do everything I'm doing, and uh, it's it's kind of tough. So I got to get some washers. I got the latch figured out for this one. I want to put a latch down here that will help this bottom hold in. Um, you know, this one latch, or it will be two latches, hold both doors shut, which I thought worked out pretty good. Um, sorry, guys. See, told you I need a camera person. Um, yeah, that's that's about it. I'm, I got one more gauge. I think I might put a gauge right dead center in the middle so that I can kind of measure that top rack. Um, you know, the temperature shouldn't change too much. If anything, it might get a little warmer over here because the warming box and the fire box and all that. So I think right in the middle will be good enough. All right, so this is what I got figured out for the doors to latch together. Uh, gotta pull this one first. And this one second. And that way you can open each door individually. I was going to put uh, both those handles on this door, but it just made more sense so that, you know, you're cooking off this side, you want to check on this side. Or you're cooking off, well, you have to open this side a little to get that side, but I think it turned out alright. And those two doors hold that door down, so now I'm I'm working on the firebox. I got some angle in there going back to make the, uh, the charcoal grate. And uh, got to get that. And then I'm going to build the racks for this heating box up here. Alright, I got all my racks built. Uh, they ended up coming out 19 wide by 23 inches long. I'm getting ready to cut the expanded to, to put on there. And uh, sorry, I've been videotaping a whole lot, but I kind of get in the groove and forget about everything else. All right, I got all the expanded cut out. Uh, I'm getting ready to weld it on there. I set it on the racks in there. I haven't welded any of them yet, but uh, I don't know why I got moisture in here, but. Got a little bit of rust, I have to wire brush all that. Uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna weld weld all this together and move to the firebox and build the charcoal grate. Turn the gas on. Gas has to be on.
it. It's a little tricky, but it helps. I got the frame tacked together for my uh, my charcoal basket. It's going to be 17 and a quarter wide, 22 and a half inches deep, and that pretty much brings it just the inside of this angle here. Uh, I'll make it to where it'll slide in and out, and uh, you know I'm going to put some angle coming up and over the top so that it grabs it, and you can basically leave it out here to get it going if you'd like, I don't, you know, how, whatever works, but I wanted to be able to slide it in and out of there so it's easy to clean and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and weld it now. I try to uh, not put too big of a weld on there because everything's going to get ground flush anyway so that it slides nice and the expanded fits good on there. So. Just a little weld. And ideally, flush would be perfect, but it uh, it's always you want it raised a little, so you got a little to grind off. I got my uh, charcoal basket put together. I'm gonna weld, you know, as much as I can, just little tacks here and there to hold it together. I'm also gonna line the whole top with one inch by one inch angle, and that should give it some rigidity. Uh, it should hold quite a bit. I don't know if it'll hold a full bag, but it should hold quite a bit of charcoal. Uh, and then, you know, a few logs on top, and if somebody wants to feed it just straight logs, then you can do that too. Alright guys, there's the uh, finished charcoal box. Got it all welded and uh, put it in and see how it fits. That's pretty sweet. I really like that. It, uh, you know, like I said, I'll put some angle around the the other angle to, to clamp this edge here. This and uh, 
That way you could pull this box. It's still pretty hot, but you could pull it out probably 85% of the way. And, uh, you know, it's, I mean, heck, just that right there, that'd be pretty easy to refill. All right, so I, uh, I was noticing these back tires were kind of not really losing air, but they were looking flatter, and it was kind of worrying me, so I put two more tires on the back side uh, that swivel, and, uh, you know, I, at least that way, if one of these go flat, then you still got another tire to help hold it up instead of dumping the whole thing over, so, uh, I, I like that a little better, it makes me feel a little better about it. And, uh, so now it'll have six tires total, and, uh, I gotta put a chimney in, put the dampers, and uh, I really am not sure. I kind of want to open this up so you can smoke out of here too, if you if you wanted to. I know I'd like to smoke out of it. it you know, it'd be nice to have the extra room. Uh, so.